Hey guys, and welcome back to Do It On A Dime with Catherine. You've really been enjoying my DIY furniture tutorials. Lots of them don't even involve any tools, just like today's video. I'm gonna show you how to make a gorgeous pedestal table for about 25 bucks. I saw something just like it on Crate and Barrel's website for $150. I can't wait to show you how easy this is. For this project, you need two edge glued panels, one that's 15 inches and one that's 18 inches. You also need a 21 inch country pine table leg. Also optional is a ceiling medallion, which I happen to already have at home. All of these items can be found at your hardware store for about seven to $10 a piece. Taking your largest edge glued panel, measure in two directions to find the center. You do not need any tools for this project. All you need is wood glue because it dries stronger than wood. Add a generous layer to the largest side of your table leg and also add a layer to the center of your edge glued wood panel. Place on top and then double measure to be sure you have the center. You can wipe away any excess glue. After you use wood glue, you're supposed to clamp it for 30 minutes. Since you can't clamp this, I just stuck a brick on top. Please make sure there are no children around, for obvious reasons. This is very precarious. After 30 minutes and it's completely dry, you can add any embellishments. I put some E6000 on my ceiling medallion and then put it right on top. Add more wood glue to the top of your pine leg as well as the bottom of your smaller edge glued wood panel and I lay on the floor to set this on top and then secure with a brick overnight. Now comes my favorite part, which is painting. I'm using chalk paint for this project, and I always get asked why I use so much chalk paint. And it's because it's inexpensive, it's really easy to apply, and this goes really well on the ceiling medallion, by the way, they're meant to be painted. My absolute favorite part is at any point, if you wanna re-sand or file something down, chalk paint is so forgiving, it makes it so easy to do. You can also keep adding layers. I used a little bit of gray chalk paint right on top with a sponge to give this a rustic feel. Go really lightly over the surface and it's gonna give it that worn and weathered look. I always use a clear polycrylic to seal all of my projects. I do a couple quick coats and I'll be sure to put a link down below. And I can't escape this video without a Dollar Tree product, you guys. I love this Cracklin Fire Candle. These are so amazing. I keep talking about them because I love them so much. This has been the perfect addition to our family room. If you enjoyed this video and want more like it, definitely leave it a big thumbs up. And I'm gonna put a playlist at the end of all of my DIY furniture videos to get you motivated for decorating your house. It makes me so happy to know that it is not about the money that you spend, but it's about the energy and time and investment you can put in your home and the places that matter. You can do anything on a dime. Subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. You like it? Thank you. <laughs> the wiggle is nice and sturdy. It's got to be able to stand up to this guy. Mm -hmm.